Hi everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to walk you through how to make a GIF-ish using Adobe XD. So something like what's going on here. So um, yeah. So um, quick disclaimer, um, this isn't really the traditional way to make GIFs. Um, typically uh, you do that on like Photoshop and I do have a tutorial on how to make GIFs on Photoshop. Um, but, uh, this is like one way that I've made some like quick animations or kind of GIF type videos, um, primarily for Instagram. So that's the biggest thing here is, uh, these aren't going to be like dot GIF files, they're going to be uh, video files. Um, and so if you're going to upload them somewhere, it's going to be through a video uh, file, not like an image file, which is usually how a GIF is. So um, there's that. I'm just letting you know. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you don't have Photoshop or if you want to make like a quick little animation, you can do so um, on Adobe XD. So I'm going to show you how. Okay, so Let's start with like a new post. Oh, I'm gonna copy and paste this one over here. Okay. So let's do something a little bit different just so we can kind of play around with it. Um, just so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, so Pretty much, you're going to create your design. <laughs> and uh, make it look and have all the layers that you need moving forward. Okay, so let's keep it simple and just use this. So once you have it, you're going to copy um, Command C and Control V to paste. And you're going to create essentially however many frames you need. So let's say four. And then as you go through, you're going to change the opacity to zero on whatever element like you want to be seen or not seen. And then let's say on this one, I want this to go yellow. Let's do this yellow and this yellow as well. Okay, so once you have all the frames set up, you're going to go to, um, you're going to highlight it. And instead of being on the design tab, you're going to go to prototype. You're going to select this arrow and drag it over to the next artboard. And you're going to click the trigger and change it to time. You can select your timing um, to be whatever you want. And then you're going to make sure that your type is auto animate. You can change these if you'd like uh, to based on whatever you need. Okay, and you're going to keep doing this for all of them. Uh, typically, this holds like the first uh, setting. So um, to double check and make sure that they are all good. And then when you have this last one, you're going to um, drag it all the way over. So it's like a loop. Okay, so now let's play it. So let's play here. And now you have like a cute little animation video um, and it is all set up as such. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty much how like you could animate anything. Um, I mean, this is also like prototyping, but we're doing it kind of for a GIF version. Um, so next is going to be recording it. So um, when you're ready, you can hit record right here and it's going to record the screen or this preview area. So one thing that like this is the the trickiest part of this is um, getting it to record properly because you do have to click that button. So um, I always tend to change this uh, first one and change the trigger to keys and gamepad and you can pick any um, button or number on your, um, on your key your keypad and then you're good. Okay, so then I go back, I hit play, and you can see that it's not moving anymore right away. So you have kind of a second to hit record preview. 
So once you record preview, then you can start um, letting it go. And the only thing you have to do is to make sure that you're pressing it again to continue that loop. And once you're done, you can hit stop. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, you can just save it on the video. Uh, let me save this. Okay, so let's see how that looks like or what that looks like. Okay, so let's press play. And you can see it works, like it's all fine. Um, I will say, like, I've used this a bunch of times every now and then, like, on Instagram for videos. And I've never had someone be like, oh, that's not, <laughs> like, the timing's not right or whatever. Um, just do your very best. Um, and also remember, I mean, again, this should be for Instagram. Um, Instagram is going to loop it automatically. So... Um, and if you're using it on a, like to upload to video, uh, depending on what you're using, you might be able to auto loop it as well. So, um, that's how you make a GIF, oh, um, on Adobe XD. Again, we do have the Photoshop, how to make a GIF version, um, if you want to take a look at that. Um, but I hope this helps. I mean, it's a, you know, different kind of alternative, um, and even though it might not be like the standard way to do it. It's an option in case you want to do something, um, even if it's super quick and simple. Um, but I hope it helps. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click the little bell for notifications, um, check out dragonflyavenue.com for more tips and tricks and all the good stuff. So thanks so much. Bye.